What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back out again with another video. So we're gonna check out CM Punk is a cancer, Chelsea Green return, uh WWE return, Roman versus Wyatt and other wrestling news. I have been hearing some reports that maybe CM Punk wasn't telling the whole truth about what happened with him and uh the young bucks the evps on that infamous night where cm punk buried <laughs> a lot of the rock uh the, the locker room so uh we're gonna check this out appreciate all the love and support you guys have been showing on the channel let's get right into this video what's going on guys it is wrestlemia here back with some more news join us now as we look at the wildest news stories and rumors you need to know including the AEW wrestler refuses to work with punk Chris Jericho calls CM Punk a cancer in AEW. Damn. Sami Zayn wrestling Roman Reigns at Elimination Chamber. The real reason why Sheamus was injured. Chelsea Green WWE rumors and much more. Be sure to subscribe Jeez. and hit that notification bell for daily wrestling videos and follow us on Facebook for exclusive leads. Also check out WrestleMania.co.uk and an on wrestling channel. Incredible. Now let's the intro and get straight into our first story. Now, first two looks at AEW wrestlers refuse to work with Punk. A top of today's news is the latest feedback concerning CM Punk and his relationship with AEW. First, let's take a look at the comments reportedly made by AEW wrestlers about their thoughts on CM Punk returning to AEW. While the current belief is that AEW is trying to buy out Punk's contract and send him packing, Dave Meltzer is reporting in this week's Observer that in Norfolk on 26 October, it was noted that several of the top people were saying that Punk would not be back. A few names were mentioned with Chris Jericho being the name mentioned most, but that many if not most of the key top names were saying that they wouldn't want to work with him. Yeah. According to Meltzer, one top star noted Punk won't be back. His value on screen isn't 100% worth the hassle and Black Cloud he's caused backstage. Another top star noted that the team has decided he's out and regardless of some being willing to work with him, the collective decided that he was voted off the island. Damn. Next up, Chris Jericho blasts CM Punk. Jeez, man. Yeah, it don't look like he's probably going to be staying. They, they're probably going to end up buying out his contract. That is very interesting to hear. You know, obviously, you know, what CM Punk at the media scrum was not called for. Whether... He felt like it was justified at the time. He probably should have handled that backstage because no one is talking about that pay-per-view event only other than what happened with CM Punk at that media scrum. Punk. Add Chris Jericho to the list of wrestlers who feel CM Punk isn't worth having around. A story making the rounds is that Chris Jericho confronted CM Punk after the alleged backstage brawl between Punk, A Steel, and The Elite, with Jericho calling Punk a cancer. Fightful Select is reporting Jericho told Punk he's detrimental to AEW and that Punk told Jericho to leave. Fightful added that it reached out to Jericho, but it hasn't heard back, but noted mm. Punk's sources confirmed the Jericho Punk story. Next up, WWE hot shotting a Bray Wyatt versus Roman Reigns. Damn, bro. Uh, it's. When you look at it on paper, whether what the EVPs were doing was probably not right and you know maybe them leaking stories to to news outlets and all this other stuff but at the end of the day that was not handled in the best professional way and it ultimately caused a lot more problems than good and you know obviously people in the locker room are not going to be too happy on what happened there um and this goes into the conversation of should he join wwe at some point and you know some people's criticism is i don't know if we want that hell i've, I've heard or seen reports that some of the higher ups in wwe don't want him because of what's happened in aew so it's really one of those things where I don't know where cm punk future may lay it, he may not end up wrestling i think he may end up probably retiring from wrestling as a whole bro because people are not going to want to work with him you know especially in aew i think that's done the only thing is the buying out contract what's the stipulations with that and if people in wwe the hires up higher ups do they really want punk there do people in the locker room in wwe want punk there that's really what it comes down to man Reigns match is the WWE going to hotshot a Bray Wyatt versus Roman Reigns match oh following boy. the WWE Universe's rabid reaction to Wyatt's return? Mm. PW Insider reported earlier that Wyatt is listed as SmackDown's number one babyface, oh, yes, with Drew McIntyre being second, a sure sign of the WWE's big he's plans the biggest for Wyatt. Face. And now Dave Meltzer is reporting on Wyatt's success and he's not even really like a babyface. Roman Reigns <laughs> sooner rather than later. 
Wyatt has become a top merch seller over the bloodline. While it would be best to keep them apart for a while, the idea is that Reigns vs Wyatt could be the biggest program in a long time since Wyatt is so He's hot right so now. Hot. Now, there's no question how popular Pause. Bray Wyatt is right now, <laughs> however, why would the WWE want to book him against Roman Reigns right now? Wyatt's new persona is still being explored and fans have no idea whether the rumours of Bray building his own faction, i.e. the Wyatt Six, are true. Yeah. It makes more sense for the WWE to develop Wyatt and give him some time to get even more mm -hmm. over with the fans before putting him into a storyline against Roman Reigns. Likewise, they seem to have Roman Reigns' next few months worth of programs mapped out. While it's unclear whether Reigns will wrestle The Rock at WrestleMania 39, the WWE has plenty of strong backups including Cody Rhodes yep. and Seth Rollins. Yep. There's no denying the value of a Wyatt vs Reigns program, but it needs to be timed right so that the WWE can maximize its effectiveness. Do you think Bray should wrestle Roman Reigns soon? Let us know in the comments down below. Here's the thing. Do I think it should happen? Yes. Soon? No. The story's there. The story is there. Roman did beat Bray for the Universal Championship once he came back. Um, the story is there. They could really do something interesting, but we need to really flesh out Bray. If you're going to do this right, you got to do it correctly. Don't force it. Don't. Uh, of course, we would love to see it, but it, it needs to take time. It needs to take place in a situation where it, everything is aligned up and it's like, okay, now we can have this happen. Because at the end of the day, if you're going to do this, one or two things got to happen. Well, really, one thing has happened. Bray would have to win. You do not bring him back to book him into this situation and he loses. He has to win. It's either he has to win or it has to be a situation where maybe he loses the first match, but he ultimately gets the championship from him. He can't lose the feud. That's what I'm saying. So this is why it's we don't want to go that route of what happened when he came back as the Fiend gimmick. We don't want that because they booked him in this corner. He needed to beat Seth Rollins at Hell in a Cell. He didn't. So it's just one of those things where it's like, just wait, wait, play it out, see what happens, then go from there. Do not hot shot book this because then you're going to be, you're going to, you're going to find yourself either Bray beats Roman and takes the streak away or Bray loses. That's all I'm saying. Oh, next up, Sami Zayn talks about the original plans for him and the bloodline. Hmm. The SmackDown superstar Sami Zayn has come a long way from his days as a nuisance to the bloodline to his current status as an honorary ooze. However, Zayn recently revealed that there were no long-term plans for him in the faction. Sami spoke with the UK Mirror about this, saying, This is one of the more filled-out long-term stories I've ever been a part of, and it's long, even mm -hmm. by WWE standards. Usually we might do two or three month stories, but I've been aligned with the bloodline in some respects since April. Yeah. And we're still only kind of scratching the surface as to where this is going. Zane talked about how the storyline developed and its initial pitch. The initial idea was to have some on-screen interactions every now and again, because it made sense as the self-proclaimed locker room leader, I have a good rapport with the head of the table. So we're kind of cooking up that idea. But wrestling fans warmed up to the idea of the always aggravating Zayn worming his way into the group and playing comic relief. Mm -hmm. While this could have been a bad mix, Zayn's zaniness actually made for entertaining yep. television. He's made this Sammy so talked about how great. the WWE Universe's strong reaction to his presence helped further the storyline. But one of the things I'm realizing is with live audiences, these stories tend to take a life of their own, and you kind of don't know where they're going to go, and that's actually what's exciting about it. I see all the fans trying to predict it and they don't know and in a way I don't know because the reactions start taking it in a different direction. Mm -hmm. One thing fans can be thankful for is that, that Triple H has allowed this story to develop. There's no telling how Vince McMahon would have handled things especially in the light of his habit of writing TV the way fans want things to go even when the audience reaction suggests otherwise. Next up is Sami Zayn. I will say this, he's doing the best work <laughs> he's done in so long. He's so entertaining in that group. And I think a lot of us are, I mean, he's he's gotten so over. He's one of the top baby faces because he's aligned with Roman Reigns in the bloodline, the honorary Oos. I will, bro, I, for, I forgot what SmackDown it was, but the SmackDown where we thought, oh, Sammy's about to catch the beats. They're about to kick him out the, the bloodline. And you looked at his emotion and I started to get emotional. Like, bro, the, he had these puppy dog eyes. Like, bro, y'all about to kick me out? Only for him to get the honorary U shirt and the crowd goes crazy. But I'm telling you, when the shoe drops and they turn on him, 
it's gonna make him a mega star for sure wrestling roman reigns at elimination chamber as good as the Sami Zayn bloodline storyline has been, most fans believe it's going to end badly for Sami with the bloodline turning on him. Yep. However, this could lead to a Sami Zayn versus Roman Reigns match at Elimination Chamber. Some fans think that it's exactly what's going to happen, pointing out how the February premium live event is taking place in Zayn's hometown of Montreal. Ooh. While that looks to be possible, Zayn that could cautioned... Be great. I'm past the point of trying to predict what the end game is, but I think at this point we have such a level of investment that whatever happens, I think fans are going to just be there along for the ride. It's been really a lot of fun and seeing how much the fans have been loving it has really been rewarding. Although the idea of Sami Zayn beating Roman Reigns for the Undisputed Championship seems impossible, yeah. the WWE seems content with providing fans with entertaining championship matches even if the outcome, i.e. Roman winning, is inevitable. Next up, the Yeah, I, I, that's the thing. I can see that happening. They set that up. Sammy won't win, but they'll tease it like he probably will. For some people, that may be kind of annoying. But once again, whoever beats him, it has to make sense. Yes, Sammy beating him would be interesting. It would probably be one of the biggest pops. It would be insanity. But at the same time, I don't know how they booked this. So maybe, maybe that's the story they tell. Who knows? I don't I don't know. I just don't see it happening. But you never know. Maybe Triple H does pull an audible here. We we will see. But I would definitely be interested in that for sure. Real reason why Sheamus was injured. Why did the WWE write Sheamus off SmackDown with a kayfabe injury he suffered two weeks ago at the hands of the bloodline? Well, turns out Sheamus is taking time off for a very important reason. He's getting married. Yeah, I heard he was getting married. PW Insider reports that Sheamus will be getting married to Isabella Ravilla this weekend. Okay. The announced their engagement last year after Sheamus asked for a hand in marriage during a vacation in Ireland. Sheamus and his fellow brawling brutes Ridge Holland and Butch are booked to face the Bloodlines Jimmy and Jey Uso along with Solo Sokoa at the upcoming Crown Jewel show. Sheamus reportedly won't be on the 28th October Smackdown. Gage Side Seats reports that Drew McIntyre is attending the wedding and will also be absent from Smackdown. Now, Sheamus could be back in time for Crown Jewel, but it's currently unknown whether he'll be back at the show. If not, the WWE could either turn the match into a traditional tag match or have another WWE superstar step up to take Sheamus' place. Hmm. We're sending Sheamus and Isabella all our best wishes for their new journey in their lives. That's awesome, man. Next up, Happy Sasha Sheamus Banks update. That That's pretty the dope, time for man. the latest Congrats update regarding WWE superstar Sasha Banks, whose may walk out on the WWE has led to endless rumors about her future in the company. By now, fans have heard just about every rumor, including that Banks is waiting for a contract to expire, that she's renegotiated a deal, or that she's even quit wrestling altogether. And whilst we don't know, we can confirm that Banks and fellow wrestler Kalisto recently won a prize for the Best Industry Newcomer at the World CBD Awards show. As Meltzer reports, she and Kalisto own a CBD brand. Mm. What is known is that Banks has kept herself busy since walking out on the WWE, leaving her various theories, including that she is done with wrestling or that she is still interested in returning to the squared circle, but that she's taking time off, much as she did in 2019 after she and Bayley dropped the Women's Tag Team Championships at WrestleMania 35. We also have this tidbit from Dave Meltzer to add to the bevy of Banks rumors, noting in the recent tweet where the boss was shown training and socializing with wrestlers from the RCW promotion in Spain, which I believe is the company Axiom originally came from and made a name with. She is still under contract to WWE, but there's no word on when she'll return as there were said to be hangups in negotiations for a new deal. Mm. One of the more curious aspects of this story is the whereabouts of Naomi. Like Banks, Naomi was rumored to be back on her way to WWE after reaching some sort of reconciliation with the post Vince McMahon regime. Naomi hasn't been back, and there's been little to no news. The WWE obviously has no reason to release any information about a Banks and or Naomi return if it intends to make their comeback a surprise. Yeah. In fact, fans can count on a WWE releasing disinformation to keep fans on their toes. And finally, more Chelsea Green in WWE. And, and here's the thing about that, too. I know a lot of people are they're doing the speculation. Oh, maybe she'll come back here. Or maybe they'll come back here. And it's like, honestly, if she decides to hang it up, that's just her. They both decide to hang it up. That's just them. You know, if they do decide to come back, that would be awesome for the women's division as a whole. So, um, honestly, I'm just trying to just playing it by ear. I did the same thing with Bray. I wasn't sure, you know what I'm saying? I, you know, especially when Vince was in control, I definitely wasn't <laughs> wasn't on board for that. But I wasn't sure if he was, if he was too, cool. If he wasn't, that's cool too. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, all you can do is cherish the work that they've done for the company, you know, the the great matches that they've had in the past and kind of go from there. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't want to 
it's cool to speculate, but when people get their expectations up, a lot of times they end up feeling, you know, feeling disappointed when it doesn't happen. So, be rumors. You may recall recent rumors that WWE was interested in bringing Green back to the company. Chelsea is currently working in Impact Wrestling, but a new report from PW Insider suggests that she could be WWE bound very soon. Ringside News noted, although her return isn't official, there is belief that Green wouldn't give up being a regular feature on Impact Wrestling unless she was offered a deal by WWE. It was also reported that back in August that Chelsea Green was working in Impact without a contract. Oh. Do you think Green should return back? Let us know in the comments down below. I'll see you next time. With but this was a good one, man. This was a this was a pretty good video. You know, a lot of information that uh, I wasn't too well, I wasn't privy to. Uh, I will say this: the whole CM Punk thing, man. That's I don't know, bro. I don't know, guys. I don't think he. I I don't. I just don't see him going to WWE. I don't see Tony Khan even letting that happen. I do think they're gonna try to do something where he can't compete <laughs> for a while. They're gonna do something because if Tony Khan lets him go, you know WWE is gonna do whatever they can. Triple H is gonna do whatever they he can to get him because obviously that would be a big name. The question is, should he be there? That's what it really comes down. Should he be in the WWE at this present moment with how everything is still kind of fresh, how people feel about him? I don't know. Maybe later on but once again he's getting older he's you know he his body's not what it used to be so i'm not sure you know so comment down below let me know man do you guys feel like cm punk is a cancer and should not be in wwe and honestly should hang it up i know i believe i've asked this question before but i want to really dive into it now with you know other situations where other people coming out saying he's not good you know in AEW we're not rocking with him do you guys agree with that sentiment that he is a cancer or do you just feel like maybe emotions got the best of him and you know things just got out of hand and maybe he deserves or not deserves but maybe he should have another chance in WWE you know and also how do y'all feel about Bray Wyatt versus Roman Reigns so soon do you think they should hot shot book this one since Bray Wyatt's super over do y'all think they should wait, build it up. And would y'all have Bray Wyatt actually beat Roman Reigns? Let me know down below. But I appreciate all the love and support on the channel. Road to 100K. Appreciate y'all for giving me. See you on the next one. Peace.